That was our drug friend. Um, I'm gonna go with meth. <laughs> Very jittery. Couldn't hold still. Very friendly. He knows these trails. I don't know if you heard much of that conversation, but he knows these trails. Hey guys, Utah Steve here, back for another outdoor adventure. Today I am hiking the Quail Loop Trail in North Ogden, Utah. It's right at the edge of a busy road and a, a residential neighborhood, but as soon as you walk onto the trail, it becomes pretty, pretty quiet and and uh, it feels like you're you're not even close to all of those things. Um, there are a couple ladies looks like they're getting ready for a hike back here So I feel kind of weird being a lone guy sitting here. They're probably creeped out, but <laughs> Anyway, uh, I if you watched my daily vlog Utah Steve daily uh, just the other day I did kind of a run through of this trail uh, Just to check it out and it was creepy. I found animal graves, I found a lot of tagging, swastikas, 666, upside down stars. So I normally don't do a trail that's so damaged, but I want to document also the, the bad things that people do sometimes to nature and how unfortunate it is. It seems like the closer it is to a city, the more likely the place is going to get tagged or vandalized in some way and it very obviously has so um, there are other trails that splinter off from this trail uh, that are really good Bonneville shoreline trail being one of them if you watch my videos you know that I hit those all the time um, there's another car this is a popular place because it's close to home for a lot of people including me this is literally five minutes from my kids school so I can actually hike here every day if I want to um, I think most of that weird activity probably happens on night at night on the weekends <coughs> yesterday when I was here I ran into two hikers and they were both very friendly normal people so I guess you just have to let it roll off your back and make the best of it um, I'll check out some of the other trails later, but there were a lot of splinter trails throughout here that I didn't go down and I just kind of want to do instead of a distance hike an ex exploration hike of of this trail and what it's all about. So having said that, oh Lord, I don't think they're hikers. There's two really heavy set women smoking cigarettes by their car. <laughs> If they're hikers, I'm genuinely dumbfounded. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Let's see how this goes. Yikes. Well, guys, here's the entrance. There's my vehicle parked there, and you can see those houses across the street. Then as soon as you come over here, incredible mountains, high cliffs. It's beautiful. I actually went out and bought this book that they're advertising here uh, the other day at a local bookstore. Just some advertisements. This is the first and maybe the only good sign on this trail. Um, going that way you run into the, uh, it's called the power line trail, this trail right here, because it follows these power lines and then eventually connects to the Bonneville Shoreline Trail. Uh, jump off Canyon, all kinds of different places that I still need to check out. Um, looks like the trail kind of goes up the side of the hill there. I don't know where that goes, but this is what we're taking. Quail Loop Trail. Apparently this section is adopted by the Ben Lomond High School. And so hopefully Ben Lomond High School does more than have students sneak over here on the weekend and tag the place.
Well, that's Ben Lomond, I've pointed out many times. You know, an interesting fact about that peak, the gentleman who drew the uh, Paramount movie pictures mountain uh, grew up here in Ogden and patterned that Paramount logo after Ben Lomond right there. So that's an interesting piece of information. You don't get the view of that mountain that he drew unless you're coming up the trail towards the peak. And I'll show that to you when I get around to hiking up there. So here's our trail. It starts out quite beautifully. And immediately we notice some tagging on rocks. And over here, there's a strange vibe to this place I can't explain. Here's an animal grave. I assume it's not a baby. Um, guess that's okay. It's not very common that this happens. Got a wind chime, an Indian tomahawk, a bunch of stuffed animals. It reminds me of that scene in Jeremiah Johnson where the Native Americans keep leaving things for Jeremiah as sort of a tribute to him because they fear him. Maybe that's what that is. Maybe I should be afraid. You can hear that robin kind of going nuts up there. Oh, there went a rabbit. A little cottontail. So this looks all right. Nice big boulders and that probably once stood right up there. Just a nice little meadow. Looks like it hasn't been tagged. <laughs> now, you'll see what I'm talking about as I'm going in it. It doesn't look too bad so far, but yeah, let's follow this. Now this, the Quail Loop Trail is run by the Ogden Nature Center, which is clear across town. Um, but this is their free to the public trail that everyone can hike on. They have a leave no trace policy. Unfortunately, that's not the case. There are some beautiful little groves. Look at this. Man, that's beautiful. Little cubbies for rabbits or whatever to hide in. Well, that was kind of a dead end, but a beautiful one. Some nice little groves and all these huge boulders trees growing up around them. It's really quite nice. Let's get back on the actual trail. So I'm back on the trail and I just saw a gentleman walk off down this way. And he didn't look like a hiker. He looked more like a dirty construction worker, which Maybe he's blowing off stress, or maybe there's something else going on there. I always carry my police issue pepper spray. Uh, I feel sorry for whoever gets hit in the face with this. I don't know what I'm up against anytime I go on a hike, and I always carry some sort of protection. I also own a taser that I carry with me. I don't own a handgun, but that's in the works. As, uh, I've just had too many weird encounters in the mountains not with animals with people so I need to have some protection I did not check out this earlier so I'll see what's up here looks like it gets pretty thick through here look at this oh I thought that was a spider it's not it's a leaf bud on a spider web Yeah, there's a lot of these little trails that wind through these 
boulder areas. I have no idea where they go. Ah, oh, look at that. I recognize that rock from yesterday. I think, no, that's not it. That is a huge boulder, you can't tell on the camera. And it just winds back down. A little closer shot of that boulder. As you can see, it's been heavily tagged. The frustrating thing about when people tag nature is there's no way to fix it. It's not like when people tag a wall and you can just paint over it. It's possible they were trying to cover, cover up other graffiti on there with those colors, but it just still looks like graffiti. However, I have to say it's pretty clean, not a lot of litter. I'm just trying to take my time. I don't want to catch up with that guy. It looked a little shady to me. Good thing I'm used to protecting myself from weirdos because of my day job. It's beautiful, it's springtime. It's uh, 21st of April today. Just an amazing trail, really, that's probably taken heavily for granted. Okay, I'm starting to see what's going on here. Um, that large rock I just passed, I'm pretty sure it had tagging all over it just the other day. And this definitely had a swastika on it. So it looks like whoever's repairing is using a brownish paint to go over it. Uh, so, I commend them for that. There's not a lot else you can do. So, it's good that somebody's looking out for it. That's our trail, but I don't know what's up here, so let's see where this goes. Okay, I got up to the top of this trail behind me. And that's where the guy is that I saw. He's definitely doing some kind of drugs. He didn't see me or hear me. So I'm going to very quietly go that way. It did not look to me like anything soft like marijuana. It looked like he was possibly shooting heroin. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm documenting this trail, but I can tell you I probably won't return to it. This part of it anyway. I will return to the parking lot and hike the Bonneville Shoreline Trail, probably on my next hike. Maybe not, I don't know. The snow keeps melting and then coming back, melting and then coming back. We had three days of rain last week, and I mean pouring solid three days. So it put a lot of snow in the mountains, but it looks like it's melting off. Got little footbridges here. trying to be very quiet. I don't want that guy to hear me. In my day job at the hospital, I deal with uh, people with mental illnesses, drug addictions, um, alcohol addictions, and I've dealt with heroin addicts both in my personal life and at work. That's why I'm a little edgy about this guy because some of them are just dopey and some of them are dangerous so I'll let that go and we'll just keep walking focus on this hike we're past him now anyway look at that the sun's starting to come up and there's a plane that's streaked across the sky it's a cool shot so here's our next sign and this one's in pretty good shape. As you can see, they've actually been tagged before. And then they've probably sanded this board down to get the tagging off and replace the, the signage. I'm going to go up here into the woods, though. That's where I went the other day. Um, last night before I came out here, I decided to get on Google Earth and 
get a better idea of the trail and I spotted something up this way that's very oh hey how's it going good how you doing today yeah good right. don't mind me I'm just <laughs> yeah I have a YouTube channel Steve all right good to meet you you too get yeah. a little fresh air I do that sometimes yeah myself. yeah I, I need my sanity you know yeah, this is it brother yeah this is it right here huh? this is a nice little trail I've never seen it before oh really you're new up here yeah well I I live down in South Ogden, but I didn't know this oh, existed. This so. is great, man. This, this, there's a bunch of pieces right, pieces right here that just interconnect, and yeah, um, yeah, it's wonderful. There's some up there. Really? Some that go up on the very top too. A really nice one down here. It's really neat. I have to come cool. back down this summer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Good to meet you. Have a great day. Okay. That was our drug friend. Um, I'm gonna go with meth. <laughs> Very jittery, couldn't hold still. Very friendly. He knows these trails. I don't know if you heard much of that conversation, but he knows these trails. He came from this trail, from that thick brush. He was telling me all about all the different trails around here. Look at this tree, I noticed this yesterday. Not much of a quail creek, is there? More like quail tree, creek bed trail. That's hard to say. Look at this tree. Look at that. Growth on it. That is amazing. Gets very thick in here, but very beautiful. I'm grateful that they've covered up the tagging I ran into yesterday. They did it very quickly. So maybe it just happened last weekend. Um, anyway, I was saying before he, before that I ran into that guy, there's a very strange structure up here. From, from space it looks strange. And it's tagged heavily, so big that you can read the words from Google Earth. So, I want to check that out. Check out this tree laying right across there. Probably fell years ago. It's an offshoot of that tree that's still alive. And this part of it is dead. I really wish there was a creek running. Um... This would be quite beautiful right here. I had Bob, my St. Bernard, with me the other day. He refused to cross this bridge. He went down that way and came up that way. But pretty cool. There's a trail association that does a lot with this stuff. Okay, now this, I know, was heavily tagged the other day. So there are people keeping an eye on this and making it enjoyable for the rest of us who aren't assholes. Excuse my French, but that really makes me mad when people do that. <sighs> to be honest, I don't even agree with carving in, into trees. I don't see the point. It damages the tree can make them uh, sick, it can kill them, there's just nothing good about it. You know, there's other ways to, to express your love for somebody. Here's my view from the top of the rock. Woohoo! There's our trail. Stand back and get a shot of that. All right. Now, I've not followed a lot of these trails. I'm trying to do that on purpose so that we discover this together. You know, I, I kind of want to put a feeling out there like, like we're on a hike together. And I'm discovering it at the same time you are. I 
we're going up and my guess is I don't want to continue there is kind of a I mean the trail if it goes up any steeper this is not the direction I want to go look at that you know this is the kind of area where I would be afraid to startle an animal that I don't want to startle. A couple little cubbies in there, perfect for an animal to live in. Let's go back down. I am pretty sure I don't want to know what goes on here at night. I'm sure somebody was having a salad. It's a cucumber with a couple of slugs feeding off of it. <laughs> yeah, we'll just stick with the salad theory. We won't go beyond that. Bull. <laughs> it's getting a little warm. It's uh, supposed to hit 80 today, which is unreal for April. I'm gonna take off my coat. Put it in my pack. This is the Teton Sports uh, Oasis 1100. It's a hydration pack. It comes with the bladder and has plenty of pocket space for a good day hike. I'm gonna actually shoot a video on this while I'm up here. In the meantime, it's time to put my coat away. Oh, that feels good. It was about 55 degrees when I started the hike and it's in the shade, so maybe a little cooler than that. But it's not that cool now, plus all the moving I'm doing. So the cool thing about a compressible puffer coat down, it will fit right here in my pack just fine. Just got to stuff it in there. My pack today weighs about seven pounds. Even with the coat in there, it doesn't weigh much more. Uh, there we go. I'm very careful when I cross other people on the trail. To not video them. Uh, one thing it does is creates a sense sense of me just being here by myself, which mostly it looks like I am, but as that guy's gone. But also, uh, it's a privacy issue. If you put their face on YouTube and they come across it, and don't want their face on YouTube, they're gonna be pissed. So I don't need to be sued. Here's sort of a creek. More like a trickle. Maybe they should name this Dove Trickle Loop. Not as catchy. Oh look, Raging River once again. It's more of a swamp. It's starting to open up it looks like. Here's another little creek. I, I don't know if I can... Stream. That's a stream. My boys think everything is a lake. So if you ask them, that's a lake. So our trail continues that way, but keeping with my little tradition here, let's follow this one. It's a nice little meadow. Luckily, most of this is in good shape despite um, being tagged and having animals buried in it. A lot of that is because North Ogden largely is a very nice community and you don't get a lot of taggers and gangbanger types in North Ogden. It's rare. I'm not saying it's impossible. Oh wow, look what just came out. <laughs> 
So all this did was help us avoid this mud by going that way. I would have come up this way anyway. This should lead us to that weird structure I was talking about, which is probably not weird at all. It just looks that way from Google Earth. Coming up on another sign. Give you kind of a taste of what goes on. Someone stole that placard and these have been tagged. Looks like they've tried to this the other day this was covered in these stickers and you couldn't even read this. I didn't even know what it said. So that's cool that somebody's again, they're trying, they're trying to keep up with it. Short of having a police patrol constantly in here, which isn't gonna happen. My dog drank out of this creek yesterday on my vlog. He was, uh, it's really beautiful. On my vlog, my dog was drinking right here. You can see his footprints there. Um, and this guy came hiking down that trail and I didn't even see the guy. And my dog just, <laughs> thank God for big dogs who are protective. But the guy was pretty cool. He was really nice. Just hiking through where I am, doing the same thing I am, except for the video part. But it was good to have that security with me. He said something about, don't you know there's bears in these woods? And I said, yeah, I got one right here on a leash. He laughed and kept walking. That's some incredible majesty right there. That is a steep mountain. The trail, that little divide right there is the North Ogden Pass and the trail zigzags up that and then runs clear across and then zigzags up to the peak. And it's a full day hike easy. It's 18 miles round trip, so I understand. I've seen 16 miles, but most people tell me to plan on 18. It's so high in elevation, there's mountain goats up there. So that's cool. We are out above the valley. That's our view. Over here we got Antelope Island and a couple other islands. <laughs> so I don't know the names of all of them. That's the Great Salt Lake way out there. And this is Ogden for you right here. And this is North Ogden right there. Quite beautiful. Yeah, I grew up in Salt Lake City. And Ogden was always looked at as kind of a crime infested toilet because the only time Ogden is on the news is when a crime happens. Salt Lake is just as bad and just as good. But the thing I like about Ogden that nobody talks about, and I'm glad they don't, shh, is all these amazing trails right next to your freaking house. Ogden has an amazing trail system. It's a whole network. In Salt Lake, you gotta drive out of the valley to find anything to hike on that isn't an urban, you know, river walk or something, which is fine. But I love that everything's so close and the only thing people think about when they think Ogden is gangbangers. Not so, there's some very good communities up here. Not that you care if you're not from Utah, but I thought I'd throw it out there. Look at what I found. Get tie. I'll tell you what, after that winter, this sun feels amazing. Okay, here's the structure. Here's that thing I saw on Google Earth. I was like, what the heck is this? Let us find out.
together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I still don't know what this is. So I just dumped my camera stopped recording so hopefully I got something but let me start over. This is our mystery spot. It's some kind of water retention area with pipes running into it, graffiti, beer cans. This looks like a huge party spot is what it looks like. All right. So mystery solved. You get here and you're still not quite sure what it is really. <laughs> Rubber ball hanging from a tree. Let's just walk around it here, shall we? Oh look, the fence is all torn off right here. You can get a good shot. Now, if they're gonna tag the snot out of something like this that's very urban, I don't give a crap. What I'm looking at around here is they haven't tagged anything else. The rocks are clean. Just the concrete down here. Just a big bowl. It looks like Fruit Loops. Mill Graves was here. So was Emily. So it looks like, you know, it's not even all gangbanger type stuff or, you know, swastikas. It's just people coming in here and having fun. Of course, there's the class of 666 down there. So, let's do this. <sighs> so now we know what's up here. I guess we'll hike back down. So I found their stash here of spray paint cans. I think it's funny that there's a garbage bag. I hope that's garbage. Yeah, bunch of cans. Hey, but at least they pitched in, you know? They disposed of properly. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, this is fresh, look at this. This paint's nice and shiny. There's a paintball gun. You know, I bet that a lot of that goes on here too. This would be a good place to paintball. Who knows? Wow, what a view though, huh? <laughs> Except for that big toilet bowl right there. <laughs> it doesn't even piss me off, it should, but Hey, it's concrete, and they've left nature alone. Responsible partiers. Now, I am pretty sure that this trail right here that we came up on is the Bonneville Shoreline Trail and continues up to the North Ogden Pass. That is this leg of the Bonneville Shoreline Trail. So, I am not going to continue that way. Plus, the further away I am from my ex-wife's house, the better. <laughs> not really, my daughter lives there. I would love to see her. We won't go into that though, that's for my daily vlog stuff. If you wanna know more about my personal life, that's not outdoorsy, then that's the place to go. Utah Steve Daily. I also have my Utah Steve on the road channel. There are four or five videos up on there. I've got a California trip. I've got a couple of ghost town visits. And I recently went to a cemetery to t check out an urban legend and dispel some of the myths about it. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, just a little road trippy things, there's that. But this is my where my heart is, you know. I love the outdoors. And, I just have a few other interests I thought I'd make channels out of. I vlog every day. I post every day. You want to check that out? It gets pretty personal sometimes. I'm just warning you. It's a piece of who I really am.
I just found a hawk or falcon feather of some kind. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. God, that's so pretty. Look at the sun shining in that creek, in that stream. This is quite beautiful. I'm impressed. Now that's our Bonneville Shoreline Trail continuation right there. We're gonna head back down and I'm gonna take a little break and see what time it is and just rest for a bit. What you got there, Robin? Well, this is pretty cool. It's not even 10 a.m. I don't have to go get my son for another hour and a half. So I got plenty of time to kick back here and relax. Well, let's talk gear load out, shall we, for this hike? Uh, I just found this a little bit ago. It's just an animal bone. Figure I'll take it home and throw it in my garden with the rest of the animal bones that serve as a warning to kids to stay out of my yard. No, I'm just kidding. I just put them in my garden because they look cool. So, got Bob Jr. with me. He uh, hasn't been on a few hikes lately because I've had the other dogs with me. So, he comes when I don't bring one of the dogs so that they're here in spirit. So, other things that I have with me are my Teton Sports Oasis 1100, previously mentioned going to do a whole video on that as I sit here a separate video um, this is brand new I've only used this today you are witnesses to a brand new pack I also have of course my takedown police issue pepper spray that is ten times stronger than what you buy at the grocery store or a sporting goods store it's actually a gel and it sticks to the person's face so that if you have to use it inside a building it's not going to dissipate into the air vents and make everybody's eyes burn. It's just going to stick to that person's face. Um, there's my cell phone and some tuna salad, a granola bar, a Belvita breakfast. What do you call those? Biscuit, uh, cashews, some sunflower seeds. And this is my Osprey. Uh, pack organizer that I'll also do a video on while I'm here. I brought an extra little bottle of water just in case you never know. Uh, maybe I'll run into someone on the trail who needs water and I can just hand them that. I have enough for this hike. It's not a very <laughs> big hike. So this is my puffer coat. You saw me in at the beginning of the video. It uh, compresses way down, packable, which means it's very compressible and fits great in a backpack. And of course a multi-tool for all kinds of uses. So that's what I brought with me today. I'm not far from home. I don't even think I'll use my snacks. I ate breakfast on the way here, so I'm not really hungry. But I always have this stuff with me. These are bare necessities just in case something goes wrong. Now around my neck, um, I accidentally left this in my pack. I meant to wear it. I like to take my mom on hikes with me. We didn't hike in life. Uh, she passed away from cancer 10 years ago on Christmas Eve and this is one of my favorite beaded necklaces and this is her wedding band so I keep mom with me whenever I go on an outdoor adventure uh, just a little piece of her to have with me when I'm out here enjoying this incredible scenery she loved the mountains she just wasn't an outdoorsy type so <laughs> so that's what that is it really is just beautiful out here. It's so quiet and I just filmed a couple of short gear preview videos and uploaded my daily vlog because I'm close enough to the city that I still have a signal. If it weren't for that traffic down there. You can basically hear the whole city but I don't know if you can but I can. But man, this is incredible. I'm surrounded by the woods, so close to home.
there's a better shot from the inside of that little cubby I was talking about earlier I'm just down the hill from this thought I'd try to get a better picture of it well guys there's not a lot else I can show you really this isn't a very long trail and I really fully came here expecting to show you all the degrading tagging that's been going on and I'm very impressed that somebody's staying on top of it and keeping it as nice as it can be kept I fully expected to show you that crap but uh, on the way back there's a little grave down here called Charlie's grave apparently it's a, an, a dog I think there are dog dishes there and and people have written things and it's a little cross and in, in tribute to Charlie so the second animal grave that I know of that's up here could be the same family burying their family pets up here which is really weird because it's not like people don't walk by and notice it and both of them are right off the trail so let me go back a little different route and see if I can find that and show it to you and then I'm gonna head back to the car before I get eaten alive by bugs mosquitoes are coming out I didn't think about that and I did not bring bug repellent or a head net or anything like that so let's get back on the trail shall we so here is Charlie I found him cute little doggy his little grave he was obviously small by the size of that patch of ground and the size of the dishes and he liked beer I guess they got a little solar light here which is cool so that probably comes on at night and they've written all thing all kinds of things on the rock uh, I love you nigga really to a dog that's pathetic anyway there you go somebody's sweet companion passed away buried here right off the quail loop trail now in fairness I know how much my dogs mean to me Bob and scraps are some of my best friends and they're so kind and loving all the time that's why it's especially hard to lose a pet so Pay my respects to these people who lost their dog and those people over there that lost their dog. And who knows what else is buried in these woods. Bye, Charlie. Well, that's it for me, guys. I'm almost to the car. So I'm Utah Steve. Thanks for joining me again on another outdoor adventure the quail loop trail check out my other channels utah steve daily that's my daily vlog utah steve on the road that is my road trip uh, i document road trips and now we have some tender music to end this hike on because my cell phone alarm is going off in my pack <laughs> the timing's unreal i'm utah steve Thanks for joining me on Utah Steve Outdoors. Have a tender and relaxing day, folks. I'll see you next time on the trail. Okay, stupid thing.
each other tight Let's run away Let's run away Helps if you take the cap off. That is Ben Lomond right there. If I can get a zoomed in shot of that. Of course not. So here's our trail. It starts out quite beautiful actually. Well, what happened? Sometimes I say stupid things that I edit out. Just so you know, that's probably going to happen with that comment. It's really quite nice. You know, if you're British. It's very nice. Anyway, sometimes I just don't know what to say. Check out this little... What do you call that? Talk about your urban exploration. We got a ladder. You asshole. So I don't know how much of that just got recorded, but here's our uh, mystery spot. It looks like a water retention thing of some kind with pipes running. Ford. We shall see how much time I got left. 
Okay, among other things I have with me, of course I have the Teton Sports Oasis 1100 hydration pack. I'll go into that in another video. This is brand new. This is the first time I've used it. I have my takedown police issue pepper spray. I have my cell phone. Uh, whoa, let's start this over. That's not focused. Auto focus my ass. This is my puffer coat you saw me on at the big end. Well, guys, there's not a. Oh. Let's walk through a spider web. Let's walk through a spider web. Walk through a spider web. Here comes a sunbeam. Here comes the sun, I say, it's all right, little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Little darling, it feels like you since we've been here. Here it comes, whatever. Get die!